What's up everybody? This video is going to be all about how cannabis or marijuana affects your eyes and is it a viable option for treatment of glaucoma? I'm Dr. Go. I practice in Southern California and I get these questions all the time. So let's address them. First question, Dr. Go, can I use marijuana or cannabis to treat my glaucoma? The short answer is no. The long answer is a little bit more nuanced. To understand this, let's first learn a little bit about glaucoma. Glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the big cable that connects your eyeballs to your brain. And we treat glaucoma by lowering the eye pressure. Now, it just so happens one of the compounds in cannabis, delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, actually does lower the eye pressure, but it only lowers it for a period of about three to four hours. Furthermore, it hasn't really been shown to affect the disease course of glaucoma and it has a strong psychotropic effect, which means that it alters your mind. Because glaucoma requires 24 hour around the clock treatment, you would literally have to be smoking or ingesting cannabis every three to four hours, and you would have to be high all the time. For all these reasons, the American Glaucoma Society recommends against marijuana use for the treatment of glaucoma. So then the next question I get asked often is, hey, Dr. Go, how about CBD? Can I use CBD to help lower my eye pressure? I won't get a high from CBD like I would marijuana. Well, the answer to that, the science is evolving. So there's been a whole bunch of studies that's looked into this. Some studies show that CBD lowers the eye pressure. Some show that it doesn't do anything for it. But there are some studies that show that CBD actually increases eye pressure. And because of this, at the time of recording this video, the American Academy of Ophthalmology actually warns against using CBD in glaucoma patients because it can potentially increase eye pressure. Don't forget to stay till the end of the video to learn the science behind why you get cotton mouth. Next question, why does smoking cannabis or marijuana lead to red eyes? Follow up question I often get is, can I just ingest marijuana in the form of an edible to avoid the red eye? Is it just the smoke? The answer is, it is not just the smoke that's causing red eyes. So red eyes in the technical realm of eye care is actually called conjunctival hyperemia. So basically the conjunctiva is the clear coating over the white part of your eye. Actually, when you get pink eye, this is that same layer that gets inflamed in red. We all have blood vessels throughout our body. There are different sizes of blood vessels, but basically the various chemicals in marijuana, mainly THC, binds to certain cannabinoid receptors in the blood vessels themselves, and it causes them to dilate. And your eye is no exception to this. It binds to these receptors, in the conjunctiva, the dilation of those blood vessels leads to the eyes appearing to be red. This will happen whether you smoke or ingest cannabis. So if you're thinking eating edibles might prevent redness of your eyes, think again. Next question, why does cannabis or marijuana use lead to dry eye? So essentially, our tears are produced by three glands, the lacrimal gland and the glands of Krauss and Wolfrig. In a recent study published in 2020 in the mouse model, they found that THC bound to cannabinoid 1 receptors in the lacrimal gland, and that led to a decrease in tear production and thus dry eye. Incidentally, there are cannabinoid 1 and 2 receptors in the submandibular glands, which are the glands right underneath your mouth. And these glands are responsible for three fourths of the saliva secretion. So when THC binds to these salivary glands, it leads to a decrease in saliva and that actually leads to cotton mouth. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. I'd appreciate a like and subscribe and leave a comment below with other topics that you might want me to make a video of.